Hey you guys, so today I wanted to make a video on buying more than one property because I get this question a lot, like sometimes people don't even know that they can have more than one property. Even though real estate investing has been around for quite some time, people still are very baffled about how do people actually acquire more than one property. Um, just like people have more than one car, you have more than one pair of shoes, you can have multiple properties as well. Okay. So there's a few ways to do this method, but let's just use um, the move up method, okay? So the move up method is, let's say you don't have a lot of money saved. Um, you can buy your first home. You can buy it. You don't wanna buy it using a down payment assistant program if you're planning on selling it or moving within under 10 years. Um, and if you do get it with a down payment assistant program, then you're gonna have to pay that money back if you decide to rent it or sell it in under 10 years. If you do have the down payment of 3% or 5%, depending on which loan you go, you get, because there's different loans and they have different down payment requirements. Um, if you do have that money, go ahead and put that money down. So let's just use a $250,000 house. You only need about three and a half percent down. So let's say that's about eight grand, right? So let's just say you just, let's just round up for a simple math. Let's just say $10,000, okay? Just let's keep the math simple for today. Okay, so you put $10,000 down and then within maybe 16 months, 24 months, you may want to move to a bigger home. So then you turn around and you rent that first home out and then you go put the same 3.5% down, 5% down, depending on which loan you're going to go with. And so let's just say you put another 10, 15,000 down. So you just keep doing that throughout the time of your life. Now, let's say you moved into a home and you're like, I don't want to leave my home. My kids love this school. Um, I love this area. It's close to my job. I have clients tell me this all the time. I, I'm not looking to move, but I really want to buy some investment property. I really want some passive income. I want some, uh, you know, to uh, save up for my retirement. I just want some uh, extra investments besides the stock market. Um, I need a tax write-off. So if that's the case, you are gonna need about 15 to 20% down. We have loan programs, depending on your credit score and depending on if you're gonna go what's called DOC or no DOC, meaning you're gonna provide your taxes or not provide your taxes, stated income, depending on what kind of loan you get, your credit score, you can find programs sometimes as low as 15% down, but the majority of them are gonna want 20% down. So let's say for that same $250,000 house, now you need 40 to 60,000 now, just, just estimate, right? So sometimes people don't have that kind of money. So what they will do is that's why they'll use the other method that I just showed, talk, told you about. Of course, if you have a, that money, you can just go ahead and buy another home and you don't have to move from the primary home. What I do tell people, if, um, if you don't have the money, go ahead and do the move up method. Like, you do have to move a little often. If you have children, you may have to take them out of school and re put them into another school uh, or district or whatever. It may happen, but at the same time, five, ten, you gotta think of long term. Do you want the tax breaks? Um, you have to think of, do you want the passive income stream? Do you want the uh, 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 early retirement plan? You may have to make some sacrifices. So, um, I, 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 that's, the, that's one of the ways you can buy extra properties. I always start small with clients, just getting them to their first four properties, and then after that, if they want to buy more, of course they can buy more. We just go, we just show them how to buy more. But the reason why we start with the first four properties is because of the lending guidelines. The first four properties, you don't need as much in reserves, you don't need that high of a credit score, and um, the down payment can fluctuate, like I said, depending on which program you get. So it's easy to acquire your first four properties. After you get the property number four of a single family, the banks then require you to have six months reserve per property instead of two. So let's just say, for simple math reasons, let's just say, um, and we don't want to make this video too much longer than it already is. Let's say the bank, for to get four, the bank only needed you to have 20 grand in a bank as reserves. Reserves means uh, two months of payment for each house. Um, well, that's only like eight, what is that, two, four, six, 16,000, but... I rounded up to 20. But let's say that like, we only need you to have 20,000 in reserves. Well, once you get to property number five, now you need six months of 
for all five properties, not just four, five. So that could be six months instead of two months. That could be, what is that? Who's times six? That's like 12. Now you need 12 times five, almost like 60 grand in the bank. So you see the difference, okay? I don't have a calculator in front of me, so I'm trying to do the math all, all in my head and think, but <laughs> think about what the numbers are gonna be. So what I'm saying is the first four are gonna be your easiest investment properties to get, okay? After you get past that, it's gonna be more. Now, if you're buying a fourplex, a multifamily, five or more units, um, there's some other rules to that one as well. So we can, we can make another video about buying, your, buying a fourplex, buying a fourplex, buying a triplex, buying duplexes, buying five or more units. That can be a whole nother video, but I just want you to know there is a way for you to get more than one property. I strongly encourage all my clients who are financially savvy, who want tax write-off in a way to um, get out of their corporate job or get, you know, become self-employed financially free. I encourage them all to invest in real estate. And of course, stock market as well. There's nothing wrong with the stock market. I'm a big fan of the stock market as well. But definitely real estate is one avenue that led me to self-employment. And so uh, I like to help other people get there as well. All right, so that's going to be all um, of this video today. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Talk to you soon.